Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing something a little bit different where I'm using some of the techniques that are used by a lot of YouTubers and Instagrammers. So if you guys are interested in seeing the techniques I use to achieve this look, then just keep watching. All right, you guys, you ready for this adventure? So we're gonna start out with the eyes because I feel like that's usually what most people start out with um, on the YouTube. So I've taken the liberty to put some scotch tape on the back of my hand. And we're just gonna try and make these eyes look nice and even. So we're gonna put that there. Hopefully, oh great, it broke. Hopefully make this one match. ahead and put an eyeshadow base down which I never ever do but we're just gonna use concealer because I don't have eyeshadow base because I don't ever use it so we're gonna go in with handy dandy shape tape and just do boop, boop, and blend that out with a beauty blender This is going to also be very interesting because I have eyelash extensions. This is the heaviest makeup I've put on with them, so hopefully they don't get in the way. Okay, now I'm gonna take some translucent powder and just blend that over top. All the way around. All right, so I thought it would be kind of fun to do a sunset eye, so Wish me luck on that one. I've never done one. Um, so I have like four palettes in front of me, but I'm just gonna tell you what I use as I use them because I may not use them all. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start out with one of the darker shades. And uh, let's go ahead and go in with the appropriately named Natasha Denona Sunset Palette. This had to be included in this, right? So I'm going to go ahead and take this bottom red shade and we'll take uh, Morphe M433. Don't mind Leo behind me. He's just going to do Leo things. So I'm just going to concentrate this on the outside. Because we're going to do the darker colors on the outside and then fade into the lighter colors. There's gonna be a lot of fast forwarding, I'm sure, in this video, cause this is going to take me a while since I haven't done a lot of these techniques before. So just keep that in mind. All right, I'm going to go ahead and go into that orange shade right above it, just with the same brush. All right, next I'm going to go ahead and go into the Makeup Revolution Soap X palette. And I'm going to use the shade Vitamin C, but I am going to use a different brush. I'm just gonna use the Sigma E25.
All right, now I'm gonna go back to the Natasha Denona palette and use that yellow. This is slightly more of a yellow compared to the other one, which is definitely more golden. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and go in back into the Makeup Revolution palette and use Mulled Wine with our red brush. I'm just going to put this on the very outside. This actually looks pretty good just the way that it is. Um, and everything blended together really well. Uh, don't mind that rattling sound. My cat is playing with his toy right next to me. Um, so I guess I'll just go ahead and go in and cut the crease next. This is terrifying. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do what everybody does, and I'm going to take some shape tape and I'm going to put it on the back of my hand. Okay. And I guess you just grab a good amount, put it right here and then blink blink there we go all right and then you go from that line All right, and I'm going just past halfway um, because I am going to leave this all matte. Okay, so since I don't want that to dry too much, I'm going to go ahead and do the shimmer now. So Natasha Denona has pretty good shimmer, so I think I'm going to use the lightest gold shade from the Sunset Palette. We're just essentially packing this on. Okay, I think that the shimmer looks pretty good. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and deepen up the outside. Um, that purple that I used from the Sofax palette didn't really do it for me. So I think I'm going to mix some of the shades from the Natasha Denona palette just to keep it to the two palettes. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and mix in the red with this um, kind of, I guess it's the lightest brown in the palette. Now I'm going to take this medium brown shade and just concentrate that on the outside lash line. Okay, you guys, I think that looks pretty good for now. Not bad for my uh, first attempt. So I'll just show you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and take the tape off. 
actually did a pretty good job. So I'm going to come back and finish my eyes, but um, I want to keep things moving. So I think next I will have to do carving out my brows. That's the other um, popular thing to do. So I guess I have to fill them in first. So we'll fill the brows in. So I'm just using my regular NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Taupe. And I'm just gonna fast forward through this for you guys because um, you've seen it before, but I'm just gonna do uh, the brow pencil, comb them out, and then put my Anastasia Clear Brow Gel in after that. Okay, you guys, so I'm just going to go ahead and go in with the brush that I used to um, cut the crease with and use that leftover shape tape. And I guess you just go around them. not gonna be good <laughs> okay these brows are sculpted uh, I'm just gonna take my beauty blender and just try to blend that a little bit. <laughs> Next I am going to uh, go ahead and put a little bit of the Ula Hendrickson under eye cream on. And I realize this now but I probably should have done primer before I did the brows but we'll just make it work. So I'm just going to put my regular Laura Mercier Hydrating Primer mixed with a little bit of the NARS Radiance Primer. Okay, and then I'm going to take a little bit of the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer to smooth out under my eyes and my chin. And now we're going to move on to the face. So um, I wanted to try this technique uh, that Scott Barnes does. Um, he is a celebrity makeup artist, um, very popular. So he tried this uh, technique on Tati, um, another huge YouTuber. Um, and I don't know if it's going to work for me, but it's you put your cream or liquid bronzer on before you put your foundation on. However, I'm using a full coverage foundation, so I don't know if it's really going to work. Um, but I figured we'd try because it's a technique. So um, I can't find my large concealer brush that I would normally use for something like this. So I'm just going to use this big um, eyeshadow brush. Uh, and we are dipping into the Tarte uh, Pro Glow palette and we're just going to grab that cream bronzer because I think it's the darkest bronzer that I own and I feel like if we're putting full coverage foundation over top of it we need something really dark. So here we go. Ooh, it's dark. So we'll do the dots like everybody else does. And 
And then we're gonna carve my nose out as well. And for those of you who have watched any of my um, like get ready with me videos, you'll know that I don't normally do that much nose contouring, but today we're doing the most. So. I guess this is good. I don't really know. Okay, so I'm just gonna use Beauty Blender to blend this out. And I feel like it's just blending out into nothing. But. I'm probably gonna have to add more bronzer after as well. Maybe I shouldn't do like a full blend out of this either. I just don't want the product to build up too much and look super cakey. All right, you guys, I feel like that kind of got like way drugged down here, way drugged down here, but we're gonna bake so it should clean things up a little bit. So today I'm gonna be mixing two foundations. I'm going to use the Dior Forever Skin Glow and my good old trusty Jouer foundation. So I'm just gonna do a pump up each, mix them together. And hopefully this will be the correct shade that I need. Kind of in between shades right now. Also, I figured the Dior would kind of sheer things out a little bit but I don't really see that bronzer still coming through, so we'll just add more. Okay, you guys, now that I look nice and ghostly, um, we'll go ahead and put some concealer on. And for concealer, we're gonna go ham. Uh, so we're gonna do the large triangle. We're gonna do excessive, not at all. Okay, I'm gonna go take an hour to blend this all out. Okay, so we are going, oh, wow, I am white right now. Okay, so we're gonna add some color back into our face. And now we're gonna bake. So I'm going to use the, the uh, Ciate setting powder. We're gonna get a lot in here. I'm gonna be so dry after this. I can already feel my skin like <laughs> So, we'll add some more powder to my face right now. And we're going to set the rest of my face with the Charlotte Tilbury pressed powder. And 
and we'll go ahead and bronze a little bit. Next we will contour. And now I'm gonna go in with an eyeshadow brush and do my nose very precisely. So we're gonna go up to the brow, all the way down. side okay so since I don't want to be crusty dry, I am going to go ahead and wipe away this powder. Look at how bright those under eyes are. Wow. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do my blush. I'm going to use Becca Blushed Copper. Going to do that just on the apples of my cheeks. And now I'm going to go ahead and finish my under eyes. So I'm gonna go back into the Natasha Denona palette and I am going to pick up this orangey shade with a little bit of this brown orange shade with a little bit of the yellow. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and do the winged eyeliner. Wish me luck. I'm gonna say not bad for that. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I'm very hesitant to do this, but I feel like for the purpose of this video, we gotta go big. So I'm going to take some white liquid eyeliner and carve out just the cut crease part. It looks really good on camera and not so much in person. <laughs> okay, so I think it's time for a new white eyeliner because right here you can see it got super thin and then like a big clump, so. Um, but I think if I had like a brand new one, it wouldn't look too bad. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and finish off the eyes. I'm going to do some black eyeliner on the bottom and some lower lash mascara. All right, so next I'm going to go ahead and do my highlighter. However, I'm going to spray my cheeks first and then uh, apply my highlight so it's extra intense. For highlight, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Ofra 
uh, Nikki Tutorials The Everglow, which is the three. And I'm going to dip into the golden and the white one. Okay, that's our highlight situation for now. So I think we can move on to lips finally. So I am going to be using the Makeup Forever uh, liner in Wherever Walnut. And we're gonna overline these lips. So this is on purpose. So I'm not doing it too crazy. I'm just going on the outside of my natural lip line. And we're gonna round the cupid's bow slightly more than um, it usually is. Okay, so now I'm going to do some lip contouring. That even it out. I feel like this side's slightly lower. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with MAC Blankety. Now normally I really like this um, color combination and I would normally go back in with my pencil afterwards and like blend them together but we are going for very like mm, lips so we're not going to do that. So we're going to add more lip product and I'm going to go in with the Huda Beauty Lip Strobe in the shade Angelic and we're just going to put that right in the center. Juicy. Okay, I think we're all done. So we're gonna go ahead and set. And now of course, if you want, you can add a little more highlight, which of course we want to for the purpose of this video. But I'm just gonna go in with the white shade let me zoom you guys out all right you guys this is the final look so all in all I would say that the eyes didn't turn out too badly um, the white kind of messed it up but other than that they look pretty good. Um, the brows don't look too crazy either. The lips, this is just too much for me. My lips aren't normally this big, so that's a little much for me. And this under eye bake, this is like a pet peeve of mine. I hate when it's super white underneath somebody's eyes, um, whether it just be because of flashback, too light of a concealer, or they baked for too long, or they just used too light of a powder for their skin tone, um, which I'm actually really glad that a lot of brands have come out with different shades of translucent uh, setting powders, because like this, when you bake with it, like this is a white powder, and when you bake with it, you get white underneath. So obviously this would not work for anyone who's like light skin tones or darker. Um, so don't bake with that powder, just set and then brush away. Um, but also this contour is a little heavy for me and the highlights a little heavy for me as well. But other than that, 
I think a little more practice with the cut crease and I could uh, get down with that. I feel like the blinking technique I need to learn a little bit better but it put it in, at a very um, like good point in my eyes so that you can still see the shimmer when my eyes are open. All right, you guys, I figured out what this lipstick look reminds me of. You know when you're a little kid and you're having a chocolate ice cream cone and it just got everywhere um, because the cone was like way bigger than your mouth? So it looks like I was licking my lips and that's why they're all wet. But then all the chocolate just got pushed onto my skin. <laughs> that's what it reminds me of. But that concludes this video, so thank you guys for watching. Um, be sure to leave in the comment section below some of the like Instagrammer, uh, YouTuber makeup looks that you've seen that have just been like totally crazy out there. Um, I'm curious to see what I'm missing out on and maybe I'll do a video on those next. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, please be sure to subscribe. We're less than 10 people away from the giveaway, so we're super close. Um, so thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.